And I heard a story not too long ago about a rabbi who was flying from Israel to New York. And sat next to him a guy that never flew in his life. First time he's in a, on an airplane. So the flight was very long from New York to Tel Aviv. He got very uncomfortable and started walking around. Suddenly, he finds a whole new world. There's a second floor in this plane. He walks up. He can't believe what he's seeing. Beautiful big couches. Better food. The stewardess look even nicer there. He's like, what am I, crazy? I've been sitting down there the whole time. And he sits down on a nice couch. Stops the waiter. Okay, give me the champagne. Give me this, give me that. He's like, I can't believe how stupid I was the whole time I was squeezing in this downstairs. Then comes another stewardess and tells him, sir, <laughs> you can't sit here. This is first class. He's like, so what? Well, I, I want to sit here. It's, it seems much nicer here. Yeah, but it costs much more money. So he says, no problem. He takes out a credit card. What's the difference? I'll pay now. So the stewardess tells him, no. <laughs> Business you don't do in the air. You do it down in the ground. You cannot pay for first class when you're already up here. You pay for economy down there. You do business down there. You don't pay for first class when you're already up here. You have to go down now. The rabbi saw it. He's like, unbelievable. What a lesson. You don't do business in Shemaim. You pay for your ticket in this world. This is the world you buy the ticket. You cannot come up to Shemaim and tell them, Oh, there's a, be a great again, Eden. How much? We're sorry. You missed the train. The mitzvah is down here, not up there. <laughs> business you don't do in Shemaim. So this is the message. You got to switch in your mind. Every day here is another business deal. Yeah, you have to live in this world. You have to work. You have to make parnasa. Of course. But you also have to work for what's coming next. Mm -hmm.